Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship. Fast ship? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Han Solo. In the latest absurd attempt to wear away at the character and substance of the original Star Wars and further degrade the entire story arc of Han Solo, Screen Rant is reporting that Han Solo was never a true smuggler. This information comes from a recent issue of the Star Wars comics from Marvel, which this site asserts proves he was never a true smuggler because he has always been a hero and rebel from the start. And before we get into the article, I have to say this perfectly exemplifies the problem with this industry and with Disney Lucasfilm in particular. There is a complete lack of understanding of how storytelling works. To say that Han is a smuggler and a hero is not a mutually exclusive concept. What Han undergoes, what's central to his character, is what actual writers would call an arc. He starts in one place and over time learns, grows, he makes mistakes, he matures into where we find him on the other side of his journey. This is literally what makes The Empire Strikes Back my favorite Star Wars movie and Han my favorite character. You can check out my throwback review of that film in the link above. But let's get back to the article. Screen Rant goes on to say, While Han might have played the part and wanted to pretend he was a scoundrel who only cared about himself and his next payday, that just wasn't the case. Deep down, Solo is a rebel and a hero. Regardless of any protests and denials, he might have strongly given during the original trilogy era of films. And I have to stop once more. This demonstrates a fundamental misunderstanding of this story. Being a smuggler is not a state of mind. It's a profession. You either are smuggling or you aren't. Han was. But here they're asking us to disregard not only Han's actions, but also his words. Simply to spin their new narrative of who this character is. They go on to say... In the recent release Star Wars number 12, Princess Leia is thinking about Han wanting nothing more than to get him back from the clutches of Boba Fett after the events of The Empire Strikes Back. It was then that Leia knew that while Han played up being a smuggler because he liked that persona and flair that came with it, he was a rebel, an inspiring hero deep down at his core, which is why he stayed. For all his posturing, he genuinely believes in the rebel cause. Or, 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 <laughs> he was exactly who and what he said he was. Not only was he a smuggler, he was a spice runner of all things. He was, on was a drug mule, a drug of choice, mined at Kessel by slaves. But through his experiences and the relationships forged during this time, Han found friendship and family that inspired him to be something more. The article then says, Despite Han's words, his actions speak volumes about who he truly is, and it's not a genuine smuggler, at least not how most smugglers would act. Han's growth and who he becomes doesn't make him less of a smuggler, and it's absurd to say smugglers, if given the opportunity, wouldn't share his evolution. This is such reductionist, judgmental drivel, it clearly comes from someone who has no idea what they're talking about. These people are in complete denial of who Han was and aim to divest from him any responsibility for his actions. But why? Simple. To deny the reality that people can do bad things and still be good people or have the potential to change. Something their binary mindset simply can't handle. And you see this in the real world. It's the very root of cancel culture. They can't accept Han's toxic self as one of their fan favorites. No, they have to whitewash away his cancelable traits and pretend he simply didn't exist as we know him. But here's where they go wrong. 
Han's flaws make him human, and that makes him relatable. His redemption and the decisions he makes transform him into a hero. None of these characters were perfect from the start. They each had their own complex path. This is precisely why fans were so upset when Han and Luke were basically reset in the Disney sequel trilogy, as if their struggles in the past meant absolutely nothing. We don't love people less for not being perfect. Maybe that's a lesson today's Twitter mob-led industry could learn. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.